Hello, this is Timo Buske and you are watching Blit Photo Tutorials. Thanks to Omalik, today I'm going to Blitify another wonderful user raw file. Blit Photo Tutorials. Okay, I loaded up the raw file in Capture One and uh, first I would like to straighten up the horizon a bit and crop it. So I'm grabbing the straighten tool, selecting the horizon. That's it. Now I'm going to take the crop tool, uh, select unconstrained and um, I'm going to crop it that way so the one of the grid lines falls together with the horizon. Like this. I think this is okay. If, if you like or if you don't like those details you can even crop a little more here, but I think this looks pretty good. So let's keep it like this. Um, okay, let's go for the standard workflow now. now. Um, let's desaturate completely and care about the lights. First of all, I'm yeah. We have some nice details here in the water and in the sky and so on, but the image looks kind of flat. So let's just First of all, uh, increase the contrast. Um, okay, we now have more contrast, but we lose some details in the highlights, so let's bring them back with the HDR tool. I'm going from maximum here, and um, yeah, maybe let's open up the shadows just a little around 15 or so. Remember don't overdo it because it starts to look artificial so 15 should be sufficient for this. Next we have some headroom here left in the levels as you can see in the, also in the histogram and uh, let's bring the highlights back. This looks good now. And uh, what we can see here now are some spots we need to remove. Maybe this is just a drop of water on the lens or so. We can use the remove spot tool for this. This is good. And there was another one on the water. This one. Yep. Okay, so um, I want to add a little vignette here. About this. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's it for the light in the, in the first place. We will do a little more later when we um, edit the adjustment layers. But um, let's start working on the sharpness now. Okay, so first of all, let's add some structure here. Later we are going to edit some uh, sharpening as well. If you don't know exactly the difference between um, structure and sharpness, there is another video I will link in the description below. Okay, so first of all, some structure and... Um, For the small details, let's add some sharpening here. Standard workflow, radius to minimum, amount to maximum. I think the radius is already good at 0 0.2. And we can leave it on a, at a very high value in this case, about 900 something. Okay, sharpness wise this is okay now um, and now I want to edit some local adjustments. First of all um, I would like to increase the contrast of this area down here. So I'm going to create a um, adjustment layer 
and choose the gradient mask tool and I'm going to draw a gradient around this area. So the change starts here and is here from here down to the bottom of the image at full um, opacity. Okay, so uh, I want to increase the contrast for this area. As I said earlier, if you don't like those details, just crop them away and uh, you are good. But um, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. And uh, I want to brighten up, uh, in the second step, brighten up the water a bit. Um, actually, I like uh, the long um, exposure on uh, Malik did here. And so I want to amplify this, just brighten it up a bit. Uh, I create another adjustment layer for this and uh, draw a mask here around the size of the distance between the horizon and the um, wall on the right side of the image. Doesn't have to be ultra accurate. So um, let's draw this mask. So if you want to draw a straight mask here, you can just hold shift and it uh, keeps it stays orth uh, orthogonal okay okay let's uh, open up the exposure bit first hide the mask not too much maybe around 0 0.8 or something that looks very good. Okay, next comes the little secret of this image, as I promised. So when I turned up the contrast in this image, I noticed there are some really neat details in the sky here. But it would be ultra hard to um, amplify those uh, with a standard contrast tool, because we need to add a really massive um, contrast here. And the best way to do that um, also because you have much more control over this, is to use the Levels tool for this. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and draw a small gradient mask. This filter should affect the whole sky, so I'm just creating a very small gradient down here. So we don't see a border, so we have a smooth transition between the lower um, image and the upper image where the stuff happens now. And what I'm going to do now is increase, increasing the contrast by moving the outer handles of the Levels tool to the center. Be sure not to overdo it, so we uh, won't lose any details in the highlights. Also for the shadows. Like this. And the rest we are going to do with the uh, center handle, handle. If I move this to the right, everything gets dark, but um, the highlights, like those guys here, will be remained. Check this out. Who expected this? <laughs> okay, let's check before, after. Before, after. Yeah, I think it's worth trying uh, this stuff out and just uh, see if there are something hidden in the sky or somewhere else. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks again to Omalik for sending me uh, your raw file. Bye bye. Lit Photo Tutorials. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please support me by subscribing for more videos, spread this out to all your friends, like and comment. And of course, if you want to watch me blitifying one of your raw files, please upload it somewhere and send me a link to blit at timobuske.de. I will put everything you need to know into the description. Stay tuned and keep watching.